look, this picture has a great story. You would not believe it if I told you. So Cataluna here was Kathleen de Luna. She was not Cataluna yet. This had to be, um, I want to say 06, right before I got signed. And uh, I was just very, I was very good friends with Tommy Hilfiger, um, Hederet, who I'm wearing here. And I just went to the, to, to Tommy Hilfiger's fashion show and I wore this. I said, look what I'm wearing to your show. <laughs> and I it was my first fashion show ever, sit in front row. Uh, actually that day, I, I don't remember who it was at that time. And they said, you're gonna be very big. You're gonna, I don't know what you do, but you are on your way. And I've never forgotten that. I wish I could have taken that person's number or name, but this is when it all started for me. As you see, even my pose is like, like you know how you don't know how to pose sometimes? Cause you know, usually it's like, you know. Wow. And here we go, more Tommy Hilfiger. This was, I don't remember the year, but it was in Front Deux which is one of the biggest uh, music festivals in France. And I was a headliner that day. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I had such amazing people there with me. I didn't even know I was a headliner. Like, it's just like that. You know how you never know, but I, I do this for the love. If you see my, it's just so genuine. But this outfit was actually made by Tommy Hilfiger. And it was just a one-time thing, a couture for me. I said to him, I need, I need, you know, I don't have, I, I want to wear something that kind of, you know, displays my personality. And he was like, I have the perfect thing for you. And you can actually look this up, um, this performance. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I like this, it's fun, but you mean, I mean, for performance only, I would wear it. Oh my God. You know what's the thing that I want to give a tip to artists? Please artists, from a fellow artist. Um, when you have your performance dress or wardrobe, don't, just don't do it, don't take um, a red carpet picture with it because people are going to assume that this is how you dress outside <laughs> of the carpet. Because this was actually for, oof, wow, I even have a mohawk going. When, when I, had black, I had black hair and I, this was her fashion show and I was performing my song Unstoppable, which, which is very like rocky and dark, you know, which is a song that I, I released in a movie, uh, Shopping, you know, uh, The Confessions of a, shop, of a Shopaholic. The top is not that bad though. Like you could make something with it. Maybe now I would wear with like a long trench and maybe pants up to here. Maybe not the mohawk, but yeah. <laughs> I just have a lot going on here. It was a very intense fashion show. So I kind of blended in that day. Oh, I remember this. This, is, this was for Snooki's birthday. I love Snooki, she's so sweet. Wow, mama got meat. I had meat on, like, oof. I had, I had gained a few pounds here. I was, you know, I was on my girl thing. I was eating, so I said, oh my God, I don't know what to wear. So I went to my friends at Carmen Mark Volvo and they were amazing. They actually made this beautiful beaded dress. I really do love this look. I'm wearing my curly hair, which I, I'm doing it now, but I, before I never used to wear my curly hair. This was straight off of a plane from Belgium and I did not have time to go to the hairdresser. So I said, I'm just wearing my hair curly. But I love this look, I really do love it, and I, I would do it again. This was maybe 2010, maybe. So this was really fun, this was a fun event. And oh my God, I, I was thick there, like thicker than thou. Hello, Mrs. Thick, you're sexy. <laughs> yeah, whoa, until you see the picture. I look like a woman here. <laughs> I do, right? Like, I'm like. <laughs> Good choices, though. <laughs> 